Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Lex here with another video. Today, we're chatting about how holidays are celebrated in Sweden compared to the United States. Not only that, I'll spill the beans on how I celebrate Swedish holidays as an American in Sweden. Let's get into the festive spirits here. Number one is the festive atmosphere. First things first, the vibe during the holidays. In the US, it's a big and flashy decoration. In Sweden, it's more about creating a cozy and comfy atmosphere like a warm hug. Picture 4th of July fireworks versus a calm candlelit moment. It's completely different. For example, on 4th of July, people have barbecues, they throw parties, they have music, they dance and all of that. As opposed to in Sweden, when they have the midsummer or what's or not, it's kind of like calm, they have a dinner. It's not as wild as the United States. The second thing is this traditional culinary delights. Now let's talk about food. In the US, it's turkeys for Thanksgivings and hot dogs on 4th of July. In Sweden, we've got Yule board during Christmas and Midsummer Feast. Just think about it as the difference between pumpkin pie and Swedish meatballs. Totally different. Number three, the gift giving traditions. Gifts in the US, we love tearing open presents under a tree, especially my kids, you know? In Sweden, it's more about the thoughtful and the practical gift. It's like making a handmade craft with love. And I didn't get a chance to experience that until my daughter started making that before she went on winter break at her school and she gave me a small gift. Number four is the family and friends. Family and friend times. In the US, we often have big gatherings and friendly barbecues with loud music and everyone enjoys their time and everyone has a great time. In Sweden, it's more about small groups, close knit and cozy fika moments with your closest friends and family members, of course. And with that, here in Sweden, the Swedes feel like that's just enough. They don't need to do all that, which I understand why. Number five, the cultural tradition. From parades and fireworks in the US to dancing around Maypole during midsummer in Sweden. These are traditionals that tell stories about each other's culture. For example, when I first moved here to Sweden, I just found it to be weird, a bunch of people dancing around a pole. I was like, the last time I seen someone do that was at a strip club. You know what that means. And to me, I found it to be extremely weird, but now I'm used to it and I understand the history behind it, of course. Number six, season significance. Seasons play a role too. US holidays often match the seasons. For example, snowy Christmas and sunny 4th of July, etc. In Sweden, it's winter festivities versus nights of summer celebrations, and that's it. Number seven, personal touch and celebration. In the US, we love do it yourself decorations. In Sweden, it's all about creating a warm atmosphere, often with handmade elements such as painting a pine cone and using it to hang on your Christmas tree, etc. And don't ask me why my daughter did this in her school and brought it home and I had to hang it on a tree. Number eight, reflecting on traditions. Both countries love creating lasting memories during holidays, whether it's singing carols in the US or enjoying serene Swedish candlelit processions. Just picture yourself singing jingle bells with your American friends and savoring the tranquil Lucia celebrations in Sweden. Completely big difference. Last but not least, number nine, cultural appreciation. At the end of all, I came to realize it's all about appreciating each other's cultures. Americans embracing Swedish holidays and Swedes joining on Americans festivity. It's a mix of joy and diversity. Imagine learning to dance around the Maypole in Sweden, even though I'm not a stripper, and then introducing your Swedish friends to the joy of Thanksgiving. There you have it. It's simple chat about Swedish holidays versus American holidays. If you like this festive talk, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more holiday fun and share your own traditions in the comments below. Until next time, happy holidays and hey doll, which is bye in Swedish. Until next time, peace.